So we're in Fresno, California. Uh, could be Clovis. Let me see. Not sure. Anyways, I'll check uh, in a minute. But uh, we've got a, a toilet back here in the... Seems like this must be a hall bath. Um, doesn't look like the master bath. So anyways, you can see this tub, tub shower combo here uh, tiled in. And, uh, and then the sinks are out in this other room behind this door. So I toilet it back in this little alcove sitting right here. We did pull it back and we were pretty certain we were going to find solid ABS flanges in here because of the build of the homes, like 98. Uh, but it is a, an adjustable uh, metal ring in here. So it's part of it's plastic and the rest is steel. And you can see some of the bubbling on the, the blue. That's the powder coat. So you can see it bubbled up. That means it's separated. Plus you can see the corrosion. Corrosion around where the bolts mount right there. So you can see brand new bolts are mounted in there, closet bolts. Um, it doesn't appear that it's broken through. It seems like it's pretty solid, but you can see the corrosion is existing. If this toilet is not uh, set well or begins to rock at some point, you'll need to replace this flange. So that becomes another project. We're just coming in here to take the old toilets out, put some existing toilets in that came from another home. There's some nice cooler toilets. Get those set and then check them for functionality. And then of course, you know, if anything needs to be replaced, in the toilet tank itself, uh, it's not working correctly. That'll be a separate uh, charge and a separate visit, uh, but we will test each one today to make sure that it's either working or we know what to get to get it up and running. So, I, you know, closet bolts, couple new wax rings. We want to get this set and get it, uh, get it mounted, get it turned on, and then we'll take another video when we're done. So we're still here in the hall bath, and uh, we got the toilet set. We showed you the closet bolts the closet flange, <coughs> excuse me, and um, and then also uh, the, the shape that the closet flange was in, a little bit of corrosion and whatnot, so new wax rings, new closet bolts, and then back there what we did is a half inch shut off valve, multi-turn, and um, sorry, no light, let me get your light real quick, and um, so what we did is we just made an adaption there, they got little, nice little adapters that go from half inch IPS or NPT to 3 8 OD, and that's a common size, so instead of changing valves or buying new supply lines, we just put an adapter in there. And then this is a brand new 3 8 by 7 8 by 20 inch braided stainless steel supply by Fluid Master. So that's good. So no leaking down there. I would monitor it. This valve, when we shut it off, as we explained to the homeowner, whenever you start to mess with these, they could sit 20, 30 years and nothing's wrong until you go to turn them off and on. And then it starts dripping out of the packing net. So this started leaking right away. We did tighten it down. And then right now, uh, no moisture back there, but do monitor these because if anything develops, you want to get after the water and make sure that it's not excessive. If it is, then the only thing we can do is come in here and replace this valve. So it looks like you got copper stubbed out. It's a compression angle stop. So just a new, we put a new quarter turn on, quarter turn off valve on here, reconnect this, eliminate the adapter, tie it back into the toilet. So this is existing. It looks like a Cimarron or a Wellworth. I would imagine it's a Cimarron. It's got the under tank mounting bracket. Uh, right there so no no the bolts through tank and so that's good uh they've, they've been sitting out uninstalled for i guess about a year and but everything's working correctly so um <clears throat> it's filling correctly shutting off correctly and flushing correctly so that's good uh you know it's it's a little a little um off color right now this needs to be cleaned you know it's a great toilet and it's in great shape and it's working correctly so that's good the only thing we have left to do which is another part of the project by the way, so setting the toilet's one, and then we, we're going to come back when we get these handles in. We're going to replace these with chrome because the rest of the bathroom is chrome, and then adjust this a little bit. You can see um, that's not too bad, but little, 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 little too much play for me. I like to see it activate a little sooner than that. But uh, anyway, so we'll get the the handle replaced. Outside of that, this installation is done. So we're still in Fresno, California, and we are now in the master bath. It's it's in the court, it's in the hallway, but it's still the master bath. So bedroom, bedrooms out there, and then you've got the walk-in shower, two sinks, and the toilet. So pulled the old toilet, got it out of here, and uh, water would not shut down. We showed the homeowner, just kept drip, drip, dripping, and that's typically typically fine if we get the other toilet installed and get the supply line tied back in in a short period of time. Unfortunately, we ran into trouble with this flange. So um, this side's still in pretty good shape. You can see there the big opening and then it's the slotted part and that's where the bolt slides in. Over here, it's eaten away. So the part that's supposed to be a narrow slot, uh, there is no narrow slot. And so that's what happens when you get water on these uh, steel rings. They're powder coated, but they're not water uh, proof. They're water resistant, and so you can see it's eaten away all the way to the plastic portion of the flange, so we can't get a bolt in there. Uh, we did the homeowner know that it's about a, about a $600 job. It might be a little bit more. I'm not sure yet, and that's just plumbing. reason why is they've got an offset flange in there, and I think I took a previous video that showed that. 
But um, so it's got to be towel's got to be popped out. I've got to jackhammer the floor, cut the sewer line, the horizontal piece, put an offset in there, probably a 22 degree offset, and then bring another either a closet closet bend or a three inch. Uh, long turn 90 and then get a new flange on we are going to go back with with solid ABS uh, Flange there instead of the steel um, I've used him for for years in new construction But since we've gone into the service area, I think it's just the worst idea in the world very thin metal And it's like I say not waterproof it you know, it corrodes and then you can't get a new toilet set So you'll need a tile contractor to demo the tile You'll need a, a concrete contractor to come in and cement the hole back in then after it's set, you got us coming back, the tile guy comes back in, puts his tile back in, then we come in and reset the toilet. We did replace the valve over there, so it's quarter turn shut off. I can't funk, I can't operate it because the water's onto the home, but it is quarter turn on, quarter turn off. So if you were to take this guy and turn it quarter, quarter, quarter turn on and quarter turn off. And so these are, uh, you've got stainless steel balls in there, like I say, quarter turn. Rarely do they leak at all. And then a new supply line, that's the one that we had installed previously on the multi-turn valve that we took off. Just put it back on there. And so just leave that for right now, and at least the water's not drip, drip, dripping. Uh, so we did give them a, a price, and that, that's that's going to be a ballpark. Um, we really don't know what we're getting into here. Yeah, and then keep in mind, as we jackhammer this floor, unfortunately, because you have a tile floor, you know, you're going to pop out tiles, but when you start jackhammering the floor, it does cause quite a bit of vibration to the cement slab, which could, it may or may not, it could cause damage to surrounding tiles. So... We'll get with a, a tile contractor and see how much he believes he should demo back to kind of keep it safe. It's just that, you know, there's nothing we can do. You've got to, you've got to jackhammer the floor and replace that flange. Um, and there's there's no other way to do it. So anyways, uh, I just want to take a video of that because that will be in part of our documentation for the receipt we'll be sending out there this afternoon. And outside of that, this portion of the project is done. Okay, so we are still in Fresno out in the front bath. It's by the laundry room, so... Right out there is the garage door and around the corner, washer and dryer. And so just a short little, uh, it's a full bath, so it's got a shower and a little fiberglass stall. And of course one sink in the toilet. So we got this pulled back and I've got it cleaned up already, but when we pulled this back it had all kinds of sand underneath here. Almost the same kind of thing you'd see when you have ants that are burrowing in soil. And it was just built up, so all of this, you can see the footprint of the old toilet sitting there. That was all sand on the floor, sand built up around the flange. So what I did is I took and wiped it all down, then of course, little cups of water and kind of washed things out to get it clean. You can see the flange that's in there. It's again, it's a plastic and steel flange, so the powder coated steel. Not a big fan because once they corrode, you're done. One thing that I'm looking at, now we're not going to replace the bolts on this one. We already have a big project in the master bath because the flange is an offset flange and it's and it's broken and so there's no way to repair besides check on the floor we don't want to get into a big project here but you can see these are newer bolts um, they got a little bit of corrosion on them but what they've got is it looks like a large spacer you can see um, like two one or two um, looks like rectangular shape uh, type spacers in there and I don't know why so you can see one here and one there and uh, it's built up, it's corroded, and we don't want to mess with it. <clears throat> and the reason why is, <clears throat> normally I like to give you a new closet bolts, but as I showed you on the last one, you know, a good example is this flange here. This is what it's supposed to look like. When you look at that flange, you can see it's got a nice opening right there, and then a slot that you can slide the bolt in and out, and it mounts very well. Well, what happens is that steel uh, gets eaten away, and so it opens up this slot, and there's no way to fasten a bolt to it. And so in here, we can't tell because the slot is over here and it's covered by whatever kind of washer that is. Same thing over here. You can see the big hole that where the bolt drops into the hole, but we can't see the slot. And so I'm thinking when they did this floor, you can see the vinyl underneath and they got tile. I'm thinking when they did the tile floor, they came in there and did something with that flange. So it may have already been damaged and they were just using something to keep the, these bolts from moving around. I just don't know. I do know this. We take that apart and if those slots are bad, we, we, there's nothing we can do. We're into another repair in this room. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize these existing bolts. And like I say, if it mounts down, it's not something you have to disclose because there's, as far as we can tell, it is structural. They're the, uh, it's structurally fine. Um, you know, the bolts look like they're in good, a little bit of, little bit of corrosion on the one on the left. But uh, if it bolts down and tightens down and this thing goes back together, then that's from, from uh, you know, our point of view, 
that's fine. And it's not a disclosure. The other one, you know, when the, the flange is broken, it's offset and needs to repair. You know, if you don't do something in the bathroom, then you do have to disclose it when you sell it. But anyway, so this guy right here, we're going to go ahead and just get some new wax rings on there. Get this uh, new, it's not a new, but it's an existing Kohler toilet. I think it's a Cimarron. Get that set and we'll and get a you new know, supply line over there. And we'll take another video when we're done. So we're still in the front bath, which is the uh, bathroom by the laundry room. And uh, fiberglass shower, toilet, one sink. So it's set. You know, we already did the first portion of this video. It shows you the flange and the bolts. And uh, so we just left those in place. We didn't want to get further into the project because um, they've already got a big project in the master bath to get the flange repaired. So this one's set good. A couple shims on the left and then copped it back in. We did put it on the shutoff valve. It was leaking, so we tightened that up. Please monitor that for any weeping, dripping. It's not our product, so if it does begin to leak, um, we don't warrant that. You know, it's not a new installation. As a point of courtesy, we tighten on the packing nut, and that's it. It looks dry right now, so you're pretty good. And then on top of that, we put a little adapter, which is that half-inch NPT with a gasket in there. It adapts down to the 3 8 supply line, up to 7 8 and then it's a... 20 inch braided stainless steel by Fluid Master. So that's new. It's Kohler toilet as well. And so it's, I believe it's the Cimarron. And we'll take a picture of the uh, underside of the tank lid right there that'll tell us all the replacement parts. So we've got this adjusted, you can see. And so, so this guy is filling correctly, shutting off correctly, and flushing correctly. And it's set to the fill line where it should be. So, uh, like I say, we've got to come back in and get some uh, these levers in. And there's quite a bit of play in here. I'm not sure why. Um, but just a lot of play in these levers. We're going to replace them all with chrome, but that's a separate part than the toilet installation. So, um, and then to back up, we did replace a shutoff valve, and I, that's the last portion of the video that we did. Uh, we put a brand new quarter and shutoff valve on the wall in the, in the master bath just because the water was leaking. And uh, so that's like uh, uh, 125 plus parts. And um, so that's an extra charge, but no big deal. Uh, we're going to do a couple of other things, I think, while we're here. We have a little bit of time left. Um, and then we'll take off to the next project. Outside of this, uh, the installation is done.